Let's do this. Let's do, do this. Do dads. Do dads. We're going to uh, and we have it. That's where you said? It's just the thing that it's was in there start. last. That's where we went last. Nice ride with y'all. Have a you great You as time. well. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Alright, so what kind of food? Oh, look at that sunset though. Beautiful. So beautiful. Linda Evangelista. Um, Bayou has happy hour. Bayou, I'm over there. Uh, I see a sign that says happy, happy hour. All I can see is happy hour. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, well, they're playing Carly Rae. That's yeah, a good sign. So <laughs> it's so empty. This is Literally, we were here last time. It took us 10 minutes to go from there to the bathroom. Let's get drinks! Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay, or Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, Pinot Grigio. If it's on a bar, I'm gonna be very disappointed. I was just gonna ask you some questions. Okay. Cause... Do I look good? Yeah, you look great. Okay. Cause you haven't been on prep. I have not been on prep. But you've been with someone on prep. Are you filming? Yeah. Okay. I didn't get the green light. You're a terrible oh, I'm producer. So sorry. We're filming. Worst Action. Producer. So this video is sponsored by Proud to be Prepped. It's a campaign being put on by the Department of Public Health uh, in the state of Colorado. Which, first off, can I just say it's really cool that they are doing that, considering that the federal government, uh, like, did not even recognize that HIV is a thing for the longest time. So it's really cool to see a state government. Um, stepping up and doing some good. Miss, you're moving the camera. PrEP is an FDA approved HIV prevention pill for people who are HIV negative, and if taken as prescribed, it is over 90% effective in preventing HIV, which is really cool. Uh, yes, I have been with someone that uh, was on PrEP. Yes. Uh, <laughs> me. You. <laughs> I didn't know if you wanted me to say it. It was you. Um, yeah, yeah, when we first got together, you were on prep, and uh, it was great. It took a huge uh, burden off of the thought process of, like, the stress behind sex with a stranger. Stranger? St no, a stra well, no, you weren't a stranger when we first met. But we also didn't know each other that, that well, well yet. Yeah. Yeah. I did a video previously where I talked about my personal experience with PrEP a little bit. This was like just before I started seeing Jacob and Kyle, I think. Um, and I was living in Los Angeles. I wasn't like being risky necessarily, but I, I wanted to put myself in a better position to just be safer. I remember a conversation I had with my dad the day after I came out when we were down in Key West. Uh, we went for a walk on the pier and, and he was... He just kind of told me um, <laughs> to be safe um, because he, you know, he didn't want anything terrible to happen to me and didn't want to have to say goodbye to me. I've, I have always grown up in a time when uh, HIV and AIDS has been um, treatable and when you, it wasn't an automatic death sentence, you know, but uh, for a very long time, that was the case. You know, condoms are still very important in terms of preventing other um, STDs, but it, it just like, it was really nice to have this, um, this peace of mind to know like, okay, I, it's, this is just like a, a baseline uh, safety net, you know, uh, preventing just like the, the worst of it. Have you tried to get prep? Um, yes, I did try to get prep. I went into the LGBT Center here in Los Angeles. Well, West Hollywood, technically, um, to get uh, tested and treated for uh, something that was negative, by the way. Yes. Good to get tested. Always know your status. He brought it up. It's not like I went in there being like, give me prep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he brought it up, and I said, yes, I would very much like prep. Like, I'm a very active person. He asked me uh, if it's always protected or not, and I said, not always, and uh, he said, Are, is there alcohol involved? And I said, you know, I'm a young gay. <laughs> so sometimes it's always good to, to have it, because you gotta have it to build up. It's well, not just like, take it the moment before and then everything is good. The idea is that you take it once a day, um, every day, and that, oh, that just keeps you um, in a preventative mode 
where um, you, you will be very unlikely to contract HIV. This is 90% effective. What are you doing down there, miss? Say hi to the camera, miss. Say hi. <laughs> no? She doesn't want to. <laughs> hey, sweetie. What's going on? You're so close. You're so close. I can't see you. Yes, yes, hi. <laughs> You're right on top of me. So you personally have not been on prep, right? No. Okay. But you have been with people who are on Several people. Okay. <laughs> We've had conversations, of course, before anything was going down. Yeah. Um, and I think my ex was the first person that I came into contact with prep. And I didn't fully understand it. I just don't like taking medicine. So I'd rather be, like, safe. Or with somebody on prep, which is not everything's perfect and works. Right. So there's always that like fucking chance that <laughs> it's just like birth control, basically. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. Same schedule. Yeah. And and that's a good way to look at it, actually. Yeah. Similar sort of peace of mind. Even though he's on prep, he always got tested every three months. So I call Maho as a joke, but he had that shit under control. Yeah. Truvada, which is the name brand for prep, is the only medication currently approved by the FDA to prevent HIV. I've never been able to afford PrEP. <laughs> I know there have been free cl clinicals, like a friend always put me on to like the, the Gay and Lesbian Center like clinical trials. Apparently many insurance providers and Medicaid now c actually can help cover the cost of PrEP. I know for me personally, when I was getting PrEP, I had a card from Gilead, the like, um, maker of Truvada. You sign up through them and then they send you this card and then you give the card to your pharmacist and then they just like pay half of your copay. Oh really? Yeah. My insurance, it helps, it helps some okay. and then the copay card helps the other part and then I paid like the last little bit of the copay. If you're on one of the apps, Here's you know. the thing, one of the apps, any of the apps people can lie very easily and be like, on prep, and I'm like, dude, damn sure I'm not on prep. Are we gonna take someone's word that they're taking prep and then not, you know, yeah. worry ourselves and then end up, you know? Uh, so having it personally uh, would definitely put me uh, at ease, give me peace of mind going into these interactions. Yeah. So I would say just look into it a little more, see if prep is right for you. Um, there are lots of doctors now who are willing to talk about this, who are more informed. To me, it was totally worth it because it was not very expensive and, and it was, like I said, it was just, it, I knew that, uh, it was a little extra safety net. Is it just you back there, Jacob? Me and my ghost friend. Oh. <laughs> we have got stuff to make BLTs and spaghetti carbonara. BL Schlees. Uh, it's like almost eight. Thank you. He just got it. I got it mostly to, I wore it mostly to impress you tonight. Oh, you lost it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Making some foodie. All right, pasta's ready. Is the toast toasted? Or does it need to toast more to be toasted fully? Toast, toast. Well, Brett's already done, so it's all depending on what you want. Brett's done? Okay, it's toast! It's okay, all the shows we watch, I don't like it. How is it? I mean, I'm not dead, so. It's a good thing. So you tried to get prep, right? I did, yes, <laughs> I did. I know like some of that experience, just hearing about it when you lived with us. This was just when prep was still in the trial stages and they were trying to find um, people that would, uh, that were having gay sex that would uh, go in there and, and take the drug and kind of like 
run the tests on it. So I get in there and they're asking me all these questions and stuff and they um, kind of like get to a point of the interview and they kind of just like stop asking me questions and they're like, okay, so here's the deal. You don't really qualify. <laughs> I wasn't getting any. <laughs> you were being sexually active <laughs> enough. Did you feel like you needed prep or? Um, yeah, I kind of did still. I mean, there were like other ways that they had it, but it was just like, I just kind of, it was one of those like running around kind of situations where I just felt like it was like, oh, okay, well we can't help you, but you can go here. And then I would go there and then they were like, well, you, we can't help you, but you can go here. And <laughs> honestly, like I'm having protected sex right now. I am more sexually active, but I'm like just using condoms until I get put on to uh, my insurance kicks in my job. Whoa. How's it going back here? Good, bro. Hanging out? Yeah, no bug bites thus far. Oh, that's good. Oh, perfect. Come on in, the water's warm. Ooh, yes. Ooh, that's good. And then he drops his phone. It's waterproof. Oh, I guess I, it is. I'm, I'm sure it is. No, 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 no. Don't do that. That's bad. That's insane. I, that's you're insane. You're, you're a crazy man. I, I don't know if I can be friends with a crazy man like that. Who all knows the, what he'll do? All the audio is probably going to be like, oh. <laughs> we'll find out. All right, queen. All right, you take Get upstairs, Wait, safe. Wait, see you later. Take your pumpkin. Use your stuff. And you that's help carrying your stuff. You good? I think I might be all right. If you live in Colorado, you happen to live in one of the best places. <laughs> the best places to get prepped. Check out the Proud to be Prepped campaign to get a list of prep-friendly doctors, to learn about financial assistance, to get answers to frequently asked questions like side effects, and to hear more real prep stories. Go to the website proudtobeprepped.com or call the hotline and speak with a specialist. They can answer all of your questions and they will do everything that they can to make sure that you get on prep if that is what you want. If you don't live in Colorado, you can go to preplocator.org to learn more information about prep in your state. To me, this is a worthwhile cause. Um, if we're gonna be saving lives, if we're gonna be keeping people safe, if we're going to be just giving people peace of mind, then absolutely 100% I'm on board. Thank you guys for watching. I'm not gonna do the whole spiel thing anymore because I'm really sick of that. But um, yeah, bye.